hello everyone and welcome back to the channel welcome back welcome back get down sit down and relax kick your shoes up kick your shoes off put up your feet okay and let's party on down to the day well y'all know where i'm going with it <laughs> but anyway we're gonna be talking about tina turner her husband and she's securing a waterfront home in switzerland at a weekend retreat okay she don't bought another house child that's worth 76 million okay and she ain't staying there every day she just staying there when she feel like it and then she might go down there every weekend and probably every holiday but isn't that beautiful and she secured that with her lifelong well we ain't gonna say her lifelong we're gonna say after she ended her marriage relationship left the United States to go over there to Switzerland she made a life with that young man and it can teach Portia Williams and Simon Gabodia how to attain the success that they have over a long period of time and we're gonna just excuse what Diane may have taught her about securing wealth in a man because Tina Turner was her own self-proclaimed entertainer and she with his help amassed more millions okay for their future but that old train break up a relationship a mess that she tried to sell andy cohen you see how it worked out with her portia family matters sitcom okay only one season because it was just that hard but with nobody receiving it the first time it aired is because everybody was being curious we wanted to know what was going on because the trailer seemed like it was going to be a good okay ratchet missing this but we're gonna find some value in it and take away some good points which it did not then we were going back for the last episode because we were trying to figure out who hit who meaning you know <laughs> hands were being thrown on each other's uh on other people's bodies that they didn't ask for okay so it was a pure hot mess now why pj wasn't in between them both showing them love why did she have to be all over to the side that's what i keep looking at that picture and i keep thinking there's nothing there but getting back to the real uh winners in love as well as success financial stability success we're gonna be talking about tina turner and her husband buy a buys a 76 million swiss estate as a weekend retreat okay so portia and simon can learn a lot from these two entrepreneurs uh artists of the entertainment business and other things that we're pretty much going to find out within this article okay thank you for the new york post uh dot com for giving us a salacious story and a heartwarming heartwarming uh story as well that two people can actually be married and it lasts okay they go through the ups and downs the cheating the not cheating financial messes and all that and they still come out winning not like these two women okay not like these two women i'm not saying you have to marry a white man or caucasian or you know a caucasian european man not saying that because you can find it in your own culture only thing you need is a willing spirit to be evenly yoked when it comes to everything and i do mean like cat williams everything uh with life's um twists and turns that may throw you uh your way or in your family's way because she could have had it all with dennis mckinley but for some reason she wanted more as usual with a person like portia that's empty in her heart and spirit that's all you're gonna always want but it's not gonna always give you the feeling that you think you should have once you receive them okay but anyway we're going into the story it's mary Kay uh jacob wrote it out for us on the 20th of this month she titled it tina turner and husband by 76 million swiss estate as a weekend retreat now portia and simon this is what we call balling not like in that costa rica thing that's something uh uh what's her name candy birds can attain and i could see her achieving that certain feat as tina turner she keeps you know doing what she need to do she can be like Oprah as well as uh, Tina Turner and uh, supplying Todd with his every needs and all that kind of stuff. But I remember her writing a book or having a song called What's Love Got to Do, Got to Do With It. Well, honey, that was when Tina Turner was breaking out, starting on her own, had already divorced Ike, and she was trying to get the hell out of um, 
<laughs> of the United States, okay? And uh, she found love and happiness and wealth with her husband, uh, er Erwin Bach, okay? So that was just fictitious. That was her crying out moment, her solidifying moment that she was going to be woman, hear her roar. She was going to tackle everything that came her way. And she was going to build a financial stability life for her and her boys. Okay. So, that, yeah. Because everybody needs love. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody needs love. Love, love. All right. But anyway, going back to the story, it says Tina Turner said goodbye to America decades ago when she began dating longtime partner and now husband, Erwin Bach. After living abroad for years, she finally married him in 2013. See that Portia? She just dated him for several, several years before she put a ring on it or he put a ring on her that she was accepting of receiving from him. Okay years okay Portia years but like I said can it's gonna become one of those mongol people to amass their wealth and be able to diversify in any type of place she choose to see fit because I don't think she want to work all her life you know she want to be able to leave some legacy some wealth ec economic stability for her family so they can do and do go and do what they want to do whether it's going to college whether it's starting out uh their own business or, or whatever they're going to have the funds to be able to make several mistakes along the way but still be able to you know get that change change going to where they have stability on their own and they won't have to depend on their parents uh in the future so you know candy can go over there and, and live in Switzerland if she want to hey wherever whenever whatever but anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, after living abroad for years, she finally married him in 2013 and even renounced her U.S. citizenship. Yep, I remember that. It made headlines and they were tan Tina Turner up on those um, social media outlets, okay, about renouncing her citizenship. And what I mean when, when I say renouncing, I'm talking about giving up your current uh, citizenship to where you once were uh, known for born into and you just didn't want it anymore she didn't want to have two because I don't I, you I don't want to can you have two citizenships I don't know but she chose to be uh, a Switzerland uh, to the day she died uh, and not an American but anyway going back to the story it says this past September in their latest move to expand their portfolio in Switzerland where they now live full-time the couple shelled out a whopping 76 million for a 10 building waterfront estate overlooked overlooking Lake Zurich okay that's right Lake Zurich people now that's living okay and that's just a retreat for the weekend home that ain't her current home she lived in and I didn't get the pictures of that one but it is massive as well and look like a mansion okay but anyway going back to the report it says Swiss news reports revealed that tennis star Roger Federer considered buying the property at one time or one at one point before settling on a different home in the same community as stuff of village outside Zurich in an interview with local publication daily he housing what do you call it handles in zinc okay can't pronounce it but anyway the 82 year old singer husband a native of Germany said the move was made after they both obtained citizens Swiss nationality we feel very comfortable in Switzerland, Bach said, due to the pandemic and its consequences. We, like many other Swiss, unfortunately are refraining, refraining from travel. They will utilize the compound, which spans more than 240,000 square feet. Again, boys, 240,000 square feet. Do you, do Diane, have, a, have she ever been in, introduced to $240,000 square feet or 240,000 square feet? as a new weekend retreat again Portia and Simon a weekend retreat in the immediate vicinity of Bach added okay now I'm not talking about Costa Rica okay with all that trafficking all those drug sales all of that unsolicited illegal activity goes on okay I had to talk that way just to you know not get caught on you know certain things where they flag my video or whatever but okay, this is what we're talking about wealth. Okay, we're talking about being with the big, big, big dogs. Okay, we're talking about rubbing heads, elbows, kneecaps with the real rich and famous Portia and Simon. 
all right when you hit that capacity then we might look at you as a different personality simon but until then we're gonna still look at you as a wannabe because you still can't show us your jobs indeed okay you can't show us nothing but oceanfront florida oceanfront stuff oh girl anyway costa rica are you really for, are you kidding me and you smoking that damn cigar that gonna give you cancer i don't told you to stop smoking all the time that's the first uh stretch to lung cancer and you sitting up there getting that secondhand smoke for uh, portion i mean really really that's what we're doing now okay but going back to the article it says a um features of this state include a private pond a stream swimming pool and a boat deck okay a boat deck Porsche I mean you can put the yacht out there or you could put you a little um uh, platoon type boat out there uh, hell put a rowboat you know it's, it's, it don't matter as long as it ain't dripping water underneath it that can sink you to the bottom it could be a rowboat girl or don't know paddle little boats that you go you paddle them you know with your feet and stuff you can have that because the compound is just too expressive to even think about anything else. The simplicity of it all. The simplicity of it all. And it still look gorgeous. Okay? And still make people want to turn their heads like, damn, now that's living. When you can only go there or want to go there for the weekend. The weekend, baby. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says, For years, the two rented a home known as Chateau Algonquin, Queen, A-L-G-O-N-Q-U-I-N, in the town of, can't pronounce that, outside of Zurich, until they obtained their citizenship in the country. So that was smart. Well, they probably couldn't buy anything because they weren't native Switzerland. So maybe that's one of their rules and regulations. So it is what it is. Okay. Swiss law notes that non-residents are unable to buy land in the country with strict restrictions on foreigners wanting to buy property. Okay. See, that's where it, where that where it was. I was. I was right. I was on the money. I was on the money. Okay. That's my due diligence and stuff. Of having a secondary education researching my shit when I want to or stuff I want to research on. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, In a resurfaced clip from an interview Turner did with the late Larry King in 1997, she revealed one of the main reasons she left the United States uh, was due to her stardom. Okay? So over there, I guess, in Switzerland, they don't care who she is. I mean, they care, but they ain't, like, all starstruck over there. Okay? They just still see people as human beings. They don't infringe on their privacy. And they just not, like, starstruck like we are, we are over here in the States. So, okay. She she left for because of her stardom. Okay? It was getting too much for her, and she just didn't want to be bothered. I understand that. I understand that, Tina. But going on back to the article, it says, I have left America because my success was in another country and my boyfriend was in another country. Turner said, pointing to the popularity of private dancer, a dancer for money. I'll do anything you want me to. I'm your private dancer, dancer for money or something. <laughs> I'm your private dancer. Y'all know that song. I love that song too, honey. And the video is the bomb. Okay, but to me, it's like a private dancer was a prostitute. Okay, you either you know do crazy things, then you take that dance and go into the bedroom somewhere. Or could it just been you just been there? You know what I'm saying? It could mean it or however you want to look at it, however you want to get your per perspective and make your own opinion but yeah uh but private dancer was alluded to that in the uk as a driven driving factor basically europe has been very supportive of my music although she has lived all over europe she settled in switzerland telling king in the same interview her longtime partner was a major factor in the decision my boyfriend moved there to run the company and I've always wanted to go to Switzerland, and I was very happy. Turner, who was born Anna Mae Bullock, Bullock, very country name, right? In Brownsville, Tennessee, Tennessee, explained. Their newly purchased estate also came a month before Turner agreed to sell her extensive music catalog to German music company BMG for $50 million. She revealed in a statement at that time. The protection of my life's work, my musical inheritance, is something personal, Turner said. I am confident 
that with BMG and Warner Music, my work is in professional and reliable hands. Well, my thing, Tina, when you sell the rights to your shit, to me, unless you have a contractual agreement with them that you're going to get some money on the front and the back end still to the day you die and then you want all that revenue to roll over to your husband or your children or whatnot. Once you sell it, it's basically theirs okay why you gonna worry about it because you definitely have won our hearts with your music and we're going to continue to buy it uh and generations on down the road will continue to buy it i mean come on babe if it was that important you shouldn't have sold it all right you shouldn't have sold it until you were dead and gone but you know i even heard you had got on somebody who was trying to imitate you over here in the states and you were trying to shut it down her looks are too uh directly similar and eerie to mine she cannot do that she didn't ask for me oh god i heard you act a fool over there but like i said you damn near honda girl sit yourself down let people honor you continue to buy your music and, and let that be let it be let it be okay but anyway going back to the article it was said tina retired more than 13 years ago telling the new york times in a 2019 interview that she no longer performs i don't sing i don't dance i don't dress up the octogarian said with her signature flashy sequence capacious hair and strong vocals turner became an unlikely rock icon at age 44 following the release of her fifth studio album private dancer her 1994-1984 solo breakthrough featuring hits such as What's Love Got To Do, Got To Do With It? And I guess that's what Portia talking about. She wants to secure the bag. The love is not what she is looking for. Okay, yeah, honey. What's love got to do, got to do with it? And uh, better be good to me. I remember that song. I can't remember some of the lyrics. But it, it was like... Mm, kind of a rock and roll pop type song and the title track the album was a stark contrast from her work in the 60s 70s and one half of ike and tina turner her r&b duo with her ex-husband and partner her music partner <coughs> throughout her solo career turner earned many awards and accolades including eight grammys and was inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame in october her second induction after being initially inducted as part of the ike and tina turner uh i'm gonna say review but they didn't put that in there in 2018 turner lost her oldest son with ex raymond hill to suicide Craig Turner died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was 59 years old. Speaking to BBC News, Turner talked about her son's tragedy, revealing that he's seen fulfilled in both his professional and personal life after finding a new girlfriend. I still don't know what took him to the edge, Turner said, because at that stage he had said to me that he had never met a woman that he felt that way about. He was bringing her to meet me for his birthday in august he had decorated his apartment that i brought him years ago he had gotten a new job with a prominent real estate company in california which he was very happy with i had no idea what pulled him down except something that followed him with loneliness i think it was something with being alone the last few times we talked the conversations were different and i didn't know that until after the suicide okay so she gave us a little piece on her um son um uh, her oldest son that she had with someone else um that he died of a parent suicide so she, i guess the loneliness had succumbed him and he just didn't find a way or was it a sacrifice to you tell me which one girl which one was it okay okay girl but anyway that's just my conspiracy theory mind just you know checking on out sometimes does that sometimes with some celebrities that you know <sighs> will suspect that sometime okay but anyway um that's the story i had on portia williams and tina turner combining the two to show her what real wealth is about uh meaning portia williams to kind of what do you call it understand the importance of being true to thyself knowing what thyself need and want and desire and get them on your own accord don't have a man you know call himself going to make 
his money and just put you in it you know no tina had already solidified herself in the industry and she got what she wanted out of it and she even went so far and renounced her citizenship over here and joined up with switzerland group over there so this was a strong powerful woman that knew what she wanted maybe not at the time she started in the industry but as she grew and understood what things meant and how she wanted to navigate between the two she was very successful okay not like portia williams who still don't know who and candace taking on the effect of building wealth for herself and her family and leaving a legacy and she's doing it on her own accord just like tina turner did and she's probably trying to aspire to be like tina as well as other um good people to look at as far as how they uh reign to go higher and higher and higher uh in the business which you know <laughs> some strange things come from some change you know what i'm saying but that's another conspiracy theory just popping out on me because candy is climbing a lot uh higher than the norm time frame for her to be doing certain things but you know this is what it is but she understands of uh, how to put her wealth and make it work for her and her family in the, in the end game of uh, thinking and providing but honey and Porsche still got a long way to go because you know like I said Tina and Candy their similarities is they had talent and they are making that talent work for them not against them Portia is 40 years old and I don't think she's ever going to understand that philosophy and that's why she's always going to be dependent on a man to take care of her instead of her being as an equal partner in the relationship and if it don't work out she knows she can still uh she's not losing anything she's just gaining back her independence and moving forward to better and uh better and um uh, an outlook for other lucrative businesses opportunities to come her way okay so it's not like she's losing just because she's losing a mate uh so it's just more experience in, under her belt to when she does want to find another mate or a mate drops down right in front of her she knows what she's looking for and if they don't meet her criteria she can just check them off and move them to the side and keep on living I mean, just because you don't have a man don't make you stop living and providing for yourself and your family. You just would be doing it with the Lord's help, hopefully, always, and, you know, yourself. You know, you can always have um, companions, but don't bring yourself down, watered down, uh, dampered down, damned down to be with somebody who's not necessarily your equal. Because Simon has said in many you know interviews that i don't think him and porsche have in, in in common and in value is partying having a good time <laughs> but he really doesn't see her as his equal and i think it has a lot to do with diane and how she raised portia to cling on to a man for all her security needs because she did the same thing with her husband and look what what happened and this can possibly be a bad relationship for portia and like I said, we're all on the outside looking in because only Portia can know uh, what she wants and what she deals with for her future. And that man putting his hand on her ass, this is so disrespectful for both of them to be at the age that they are. He could have had it around her waist, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like touching her breast, being photographed, touching her breast and holding on to it. <sighs> anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. I was just doing a compare and comparison or compare comparison. Of similarities between a wannabe versus a one that's already have accomplished and solidified herself in the industry with a man or without a man okay but that's all i have for this video hopefully i like it love it gotta have more don't hesitate to click that like button share and subscribe to the channel okay i'll see y'all next video guys Bye bye